Hello, people and bots. Grandpa Canuck here. And today we're in Stationaires with another tutorial. Uh, this tutorial is about uh, using batteries in parallel. Now, the other way to use batteries would be in series, which means one after the other. Parallel means using them all at the same time, in theory. Now, so what is electricity? Well, electricity is a wave, and it's measured in two ways, kind of um, height and length. And it uses the two terms of voltage and amperage. Now, Stationaires has simplified all of that for us. And it just uses the combination. So in Stationaires, think of a unit of electricity like a block. Okay, doesn't matter what the voltage or what the amperage is. All you need to worry about is how many of those blocks are you using. And that is called a watt. And a thousand of them would be a kilowatt. Okay, so let's just look here. Whoop, I need to change over to my correct network analyzer. So in stationaries, as you can see, when you look at a cable, you don't get voltage and amperage. You get the actual use is in kilowatts, okay, thousands of watts. When you look at a number of devices, and you look at the cable, okay, you can see those individual units are in watts. Okay, you can see the back pressure regulator there is using 100 watts. Okay, so all that gets added together and turned into a bigger unit called kilowatts. So think of kilowatts as the amount of blocks of electricity moving through that cable. Now, Stationaries is very kind. It has two types of cable here, and only so much can go through this smaller size cable. Virtually any amount of electricity can go through, as far as the game is concerned, through the heavy cable. So it doesn't matter in the game. So when using large power, you always use the heavy cable. What is the difference of this parallel and series that I'm talking about. Okay. The batteries here, as you can see, I have got one cable connecting to all of the outputs together. And if you look at the other side, I've got one cable connecting all of the inputs together. Okay, so what's the input? The input is my power source. I have all my solar. And Bonnie and Clyde, my two green cheek conyers, are going to get on the conversation here today. My solid fuel and my wind turbines. And you can see all this comes together. Here the solar joins the, uh, the wind and it goes by and joins in my solid fuel. And from there it goes to the input of all the batteries, kind of at the same time, okay? For the purposes of the game, it, you know, it doesn't, doesn't matter. There's only two types of cable. In real life, the type of cable, the material it's made of, how well it's insulated, you know, there's a lot of other factors. It's all simplified here in stationary. You don't need an electrical degree. On the outward side, for parallel, you have all of the outputs joining together and going to where your load is. In other words, where the electricity is going. It's created from the solar, the solid, and the wind. It's been stored in the batteries, and it's going from the batteries to where it's needed. And it's going through this transformer. In real life, a transformer would control the voltage and amperage, changing it from the input to the output. Okay? In stationaries, it's a little more simple. 
All it's doing is controlling the output. So here you can see 1.77 kilowatts in with the potential of 28.7 uh, megawatts. Wow. And here's the cable on the way out. Well, let's get a better view of this. Well, that's good enough. 1.77 kilowatts. So the electricity is following right through. All those kilowatts are going through, but the maximum potential is 8 kilowatts. No more than 8 kilowatts is allowed to continue on. That's because that's what I've set the transformer at. Now this process of storing, charging, uncharging, changing the electricity's shape, so to speak, Right? Remember the voltage and amperage are kind of like the height and width, okay? Is not always 100% efficient. In real life, that's why when you charge rechargeable batteries, they get warm. When you use batteries, you know, they will get warm decharging. And cables can get warm. And stationaries, not so much. But it is known if you put your batteries and transformer inside, it is heat generating, so it's not 100% efficient. So, you want your batteries and transformer outside if you're trying to keep your living or inside space cool. And if you're trying to keep it warm, you want this inside to take advantage of that small amount of heat. So, if it was in series, the electricity would come along where it's made. and hit the first battery, and the first battery would charge, and then it would uncharge into the second and charge and charge up the second, and the second would, would then uncharge and charge up the third, and the third would uncharge and get the fourth, on and on and on and on for as many batteries. You still may have the same amount of electricity stored up, but I think in stationaries there's a slight advantage to storing them in parallel. I don't know how long that storm is going to last with my wind power here on Mars and therefore I'm charging all of the batteries at the same time and I don't have to rely on this one wearing out by charging up and running down, charging up and running down to the second one and third one. So, All of the physics is not 100% known but it is known there is some heat loss in the use of batteries and transformers in the game. You know, therefore, I believe the parallel is a little more efficient than series in the game. In real life, it depends on your use, depends on the equipment, it depends on the uh, voltage and amperage of your thing you're using at the end. In stationaries, it doesn't matter. It all just turns into these blocks called watts or kilowatts if you have a thousand of them, a big block. And there we have it. Okay. Series is one after the other. Parallel is all at the same time. So in parallel, all of the inputs are joined together to where it's produced. And all of the outputs are joined together to where the electricity is going to be used. Okay. Where the load is. Okay. And in theory, they'll pretty much all charge at the same time. Now, because of the way distances are handled in-game... There is the odd oddity, and the game does show a little bit of movement, kind of like those blocks being a three-dimensional thing in the game. It's not 100% like real life. So I think that's all you need to know about batteries in parallel usage. Is that right, Bonnie? Is there anything else we need to tell them? Yeah? I already told them that. Anything else? You want to say bye-bye to the people? No? Okay. So, until next time, this is Grandpa Canuck and Bonnie and Clyde, my two green sheet conyers, signing off. And all you people and bots, be good to one another. Take care. Bye-bye.